Tonight, justice for the families of the 10 people killed in a Boulder King Superstore. Jurors found the shooter guilty on 55 counts today, 10 counts of first degree murder, 38 counts of attempted first degree murder, and seven other charges as well. They rejected the gunsman's insanity defense. Good evening, I'm Michael Spencer. And I'm Karen Lee. We also heard emotional statements from the families of the victims during the sentencing phase. Your reporter, Andrew Hobner, joins us live in Boulder tonight. Andrew, the shooter faced life in prison, faces rather life in prison, and the sentencing from the judge expected at any moment. Good evening, Michael and Karen. Yes, it is expected at any moment in the courtroom right now. Now, the ask from District Attorney Michael Doherty is 10 life sentences and then 1,300 years for all of the other charges that are unrelated to the first degree murder with which Amad Alyssa was found guilty. There were 55 different counts with which a guilty verdict was returned. And for a lot of these families, it is justice, but something of a, of a Pyrrhic victory. It doesn't bring any of their family members back, nor does it make up for the last handful of years where there have been a multitude of delays in this trial something that frustrated a lot of victims' families, that they made sure that they communicated to Judge Ingrid Baca as well as the courtroom in their impact statements before the sentencing because they say it's made it hard for them to be able to find closure and be able to move on. My entire family will never be the same. We mourn and continue to mourn. There is always emptiness that is unspoken. They say time heals all wounds, but not this one. Grief is permanent. The people we love who we lose are gone forever from this earth, but we carry their memories, their spirit, and their values with us forever. And by orienting ourselves around the love that we feel for those we have lost, we honor them, and that helps us heal. So we have a breaking sentencing for you right now. Judge Ingrid Baca giving Ahmad Alyssa a life sentence without parole to each victim. Those are going to run as consecutive sentences. Now, there is still more sentencing still to be done. District Attorney Michael Doherty will come out here probably in the next 15 minutes or so now that the sentencing has come down to speak with media. And we will also be talking with victims' families as well. Uh, a tragic situation for everyone involved, from the victims to their families, and the Alyssa family as well, who walked out of this courtroom saying that they did not know that Ahmad Alyssa was sick and that they would have done something. But cold comfort for those victims' families, who now, although they close one chapter, that grief remains a permanent throughout their entire story. In Boulder, I'm Andrew Hobner, covering Colorado First. Yeah, certainly an emotional day for all involved. Andrew, thank you. After the verdict came in, Governor Polis released a statement saying, today justice is served, though I know this guilty verdict won't heal the pain so many of us feel or bring back those who were killed. I hope that it can provide some peace.